The Insti HIV-1, HIV-2 antibody test is the world's fastest HIV test, producing results in as little as 60 seconds. The test procedure is simple, and the test kit contains all the components required for testing. Package insert, membrane unit, lancet, pipette, alcohol swab, sample diluent, color developer, clarifying solution. All three Insti reagent solutions are color-coded and numbered for easy identification. The test must be stored at 2 to 30 degrees Celsius or 35.6 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Before using the test, read package insert to familiarize yourself with Insti and become familiar with universal precautions. Insti is intended to be used in a step-by-step -step manner with no pauses or breaks during the testing process. Whole blood specimens collected by finger stick should be tested immediately. Open the Insti package and remove all contents from the pouch. Tear open the membrane unit pouch at the pre-cut edge and carefully remove the membrane unit without touching the center well. Place the membrane unit on a level surface. Make sure the tab of the membrane unit is oriented towards you. For sample identification purposes, the tab of the membrane unit may be labeled with the patient's name or identifier. Insti can be used with finger stick blood, venous whole blood, serum specimens, and plasma specimens. Using standard venous phlebotomy procedures, collect a whole blood specimen in a tube containing any of the following anticoagulants. EDTA, lavender top, sodium heparin, green top, sodium citrate, light blue top. Other anticoagulants have not been validated and may give an incorrect result. If not testing at the time of specimen collection, whole blood specimens may be stored for up to five days at 2 degrees to 24 degrees Celsius, 35.6 to 75.2 Fahrenheit. Prior to testing, mix the blood by gentle inversion several times. Do not heat or freeze whole blood specimens. Using a calibrated 50 microliters precision pipette with a disposable tip, collect 50 microliters of whole blood from the collection tube. Transfer the blood held in the pipette to bottle number one. Step number one, sample diluent. Once the sample has been transferred into bottle number one, the sample diluent, recap the bottle and mix well by inversion. Open the sample diluent and pour the entire contents into the center of the membrane unit well. The sample should be absorbed quickly. Wait for all the liquid from bottle number one to be absorbed completely. Step number two, color developer. Resuspend the color developer by slowly inverting. Mix the solution thoroughly until the reagent is evenly suspended. Pour the entire contents of bottle number two into the center of the membrane unit well. The solution should be absorbed quickly. Wait for the solution to be absorbed completely. Step number three, clarifying solution. Open bottle number three, the clarifying solution, and pour the entire contents into the center of the membrane unit well. The solution should be absorbed completely. The clarifying solution will reduce the background to provide more contrast to the spots and facilitate reading. Immediately read the result while the membrane is still wet. Do not read the results if more than five minutes have elapsed following the addition of clarifying solution. When reading the results, make sure the tab of the membrane unit is oriented towards you. Non-reactive result. One blue control spot that is clearly discernible above any background tint should appear on the membrane. The control spot indicates the test has been performed correctly and a human specimen has been used. Reactive result. Two blue spots. One control spot and one test spot that are discernible above any background tint indicates that the specimen contains HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies. Following a reactive test result, HIV confirmation testing should be conducted. Invalid result. The test is invalid if there is no control spot on the membrane. An invalid test result means that the test was run incorrectly or insufficient specimen was added. 
Invalid test results cannot be interpreted. Any invalid test should be repeated with a fresh specimen using a new membrane kit, kit components, and support materials. The rapid INSTI HIV antibody test is intended for use by personnel in medical facilities, clinical laboratories, emergency care situations, physicians' offices, voluntary counseling and testing VCT programs, and other establishments providing health care. For more information, please visit us at www.biolytical.com.